How's it going, everybody? So today I bring Anne back on the channel. Hello. Today we're going to be going through a wedding system that Anne and I built for our wedding. We're planning it. It's about a year and three months out and has just about planned it all. <laughs> uh, and so we're going to be going through the system that we built to manage all, all the events, vendors. Uh, timeline. Timeline. Lots of stuff. So you'll see everything in, in Airtable. Uh, so we'll just jump right in. Uh, and we'll also be going through a few tools that we're using with this. So Airtable is the primary tool, then also mini extensions. And she has a bunch of stuff set up in the knot, but we did not connect that. All right, so you should be able to see everything in our Airtable base now. So up here at the top are the different tables. So the first things we'll be going through are the events and the timeline. And then we can go through budget, guests, accommodations. I have some cool, a cool mini extension I'll show at the end of the video uh, with guests and how we're looking at having the guests update their addresses and maybe some other cool things about sharing data from Airtable to guests. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll show the mini extensions at the end. Uh, the first thing I think Anne's favorite part of this is the emojis in the in the table names. <laughs> she picked out most of those. Um, so to jump in, we can go through these first two tables. So events and timeline. We have these five or six different events here. And Anne has already pretty much mapped out the itinerary for each of them. So the most notable one is probably the wedding. And actually, there's a girl named Kuvan, and she has, it's called My One Record. That would be very useful here. So we don't have to create views for each different event. I'm just thinking out loud. But here we have events and then the, our activities. Uh, we can also see how many days from today this is. Uh, so in Timeline we have each of these little events linked to the, each of these little pieces on the timeline linked to the event. Is there anything you wanted to share about the timeline or events? Um, I don't think so. I was just thinking about how I should have added you in the timeline. Like when are you gonna get there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think the next step from this, cause now this is just like the basic timeline for- This is like a rough draft too. This isn't final. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I really want to use is use something like document. She has, she's been creating manually a Google doc with a, with the wedding timeline. And that's what this was before. But one thing we can do in here is we can link to guests. So we could link each piece on the timeline to a guest and then give the guest a itinerary for, especially for like bridesmaids and people of more importance where they're gonna have more things to do on the day other than just show up. I think that'd be pretty cool if we can automatically create Google Docs, send PDFs to people. Um, all right, so a few things we noticed is, well here, this is just an example of one view. We just made this just our wedding timeline because we also have like honeymoon in here and Nacho needs to get boarded, a few other things. Uh, I explored the Gantt view and that was not helpful whatsoever because it doesn't go down past a week. So maybe large timeline it would be nice on the events table but on the timeline it was not but calendar it was more functional although i still wasn't a huge fan of the way it looked yeah i don't know about that <laughs> kind of confusing yeah so on this we may just if maybe if we filtered this down to just be the wedding so if the event contained wedding then this may make it more useful, but then it's like the full length, if anything. So that's kind of annoying. It doesn't look the greatest, I think. But this is our day of rough draft that Anne put together. Another table that we have in here, and it's not really connected to payments that we've made. We just manually update this. But what our budget is, so we have budget and actual. And I guess I could add a form in here to see if we're over or under budget. That would be smart. Um, but right now it's just manually entering in budget and actual. Um, let's see. And she did have all of this in Excel. So everything in here was, how many tables did the Excel have? Like how many tabs at the bottom? Yeah, how many tabs? At least like 20. So we shortened it up. And Anne was hesitant to use Airtable at first because we combined certain things. So like we combined 
different timelines. So the wedding timeline, a few different things was combined as well as vendors, especially. Yeah, it's kind of hard to figure out how to use this at first. Yeah. So I think vendors was the one of the big sticking points as well as the to-do list. I think just the vendors because I like to take notes and there's not really somewhere just to take notes. Yeah. So let's jump to see how we did vendors. So Anne picked out all the emojis here. You can see they're much more colorful than mine that I had picked out. Uh, but this is our vendors. So these are vendors for any of these purposes. Catering, photographers, videographers, cakes, all these. And Anne already has like all of these set up. And she also has contracts set up with... Uh, the ones that we have booked. The ones we have booked. So she did a great job. She just added DJ. She updated all these emojis as well. So we have stationery, decor. And basically, these are just so Anne can come in here and see. Especially like on DJ or stationery. She wanted one to just take notes on, and then the other ones would be vendors. So it's not necessarily the most structured way of doing it. Like we could have a have a um, <laughs> how do I put this myself? <laughs> it's not the most structured notes. This is probably not what I would recommend for a client. We might have a table <laughs> with all of the different purposes, and then have all the notes that are only on stationary there. Um, but it's very functional for Anne now. What's your favorite part about this one? The emojis? <laughs> the emojis. <laughs> um, what do you think about this versus the Excel? Did you, did you miss the Excel? Um, I mean, I can tell how this one's like a lot better to like see everything and like mark off what's been done and like have everything in like one spot but I did like how the excel you could have just one page for DJ like just one page for catering just one page for videographer in here it's like I feel like that like DJ can come up in so many of the different tables that I get kind of confused sometimes yeah yeah and I think one of the other big things was you could put a picture like basically yeah, anywhere in can, excel yeah, after we did this, I had to make my whole vision board in Google Slides. So now I have like five different things, but. That's definitely not the goal with building this, to have five <laughs> different things, but we had to avoid paying for Excel. Yeah. Yeah, the picture was really the only the only big downside. I did like the the contracts in here was a lot easier than the contracts in Excel. I had to do like a link in Excel. Because oh, you couldn't host a contract? I just Excel? couldn't figure out how to put it in. In like Excel in here, you could just like drag it in. So that was a lot easier. Oh, here was a learning moment today. So with the single select versus the other field, do you understand those? No? Hey, I don't remember though. <laughs> okay. All right, so this this field right here and so Anne had created this table I don't think I had done mm. anything in this one so I came to it and Anne had created this one which was perfect and she has vendors in here in a single select but one thing we already have in here is a list of all the vendors so here we somewhere in here is Union 12 right here and what I taught her was you can add instead of a single select at a linked record and this will have all of the vendors that she inputs, that she gets quotes from for any different thing. So this should be deleted here. So although I think we need to update all of these beforehand, otherwise I'm gonna mess up all of our views. Um, but so for anybody doing this, if you're like trying to figure out how to relate some of this data, you can just use a linked record to vendors instead of a single select. A few other things that we added was, this is just a real basic to-do list, so this is... And we filtered this one by being done. Yeah. And what's this one? Mm -hmm. Maybe it might be helpful if this is someone's first time using Airtable or they want to use it for something like this. Do you want to explain how the views work? Well, I can try. I don't really know how Go for it. So I made this one first, and... Um, 
I don't know how to explain this. I, I made, so I put everything that I had to do in, in here under name. And then I added a due date, which I don't know what they are for a lot of them. And then I added this little checkbox field. Is that, is it yep, field? Yeah, checkbox field. And so, um, and then I also added notes. So like save the dates. I haven't sent them yet, but I ordered them. So like stuff like that. And then, but there's also stuff that I've already done that I wanted to look at just in case I'm like, oh, did I do that yet? So, um, obviously those are marked as done, but this one, this view doesn't have any done and it's because I filtered by that. So I said where the done field is empty and it only shows where the done field is empty in this one shows where there's a check mark in the done field. And that was, you just go in a filter and you click where done is and it has a little check. Perfect. And it works the same way, except even with even more on vendors. So here we have these different purposes. So catering, photographer, all these. So here in photographers, this, this view is unfiltered, so it has everything. And then in photographers, yeah, this one is- Yeah, it's filtered where it's, where the purpose is photographer and that one's where purpose is videographer yeah this is perfect <laughs> um other things about the systems structure i can't think of really much else because we just really started using this not too long ago like today today <laughs> yeah we <laughs> imported a lot of stuff over the weekend and then really started using it today yeah i feel like once i start to like actually look at it and like understand I'll like understand it more but it's kind of hard right now do we want to go into any of the item this is probably the biggest work in progress yeah items. I don't I just don't know how to really use this one so yeah so the idea behind this one is these are any items that we want to have at the wedding so any like for example Anne needs a dress that she needs to get there's also like centerpieces for the table so there's I have this set up there's categories, so there's decor, uh, the proposal boxes, which Anne's already pretty much taken care of, and whether or not we need to buy it or it's a wish list item or we're going to rent it. That's what this one is right now, but we'll see what it becomes later on. I think the I only have one other thing that I wanted to show, which was the mini extensions. Did you have anything else before we jump to that? Mm-mm. -mm. Okay, so mini extension. So I, I think this was really cool because I've been setting this up for clients recently. So with mini extensions, this is filtered to only show the groom right now. So there are all these other different guest types, but I didn't want to expose everybody in both of our families and all that. Um, so what I have here is a mini extensions link. Uh, so I'm going to change the link after this, so don't try to access the link once I pull it up. But basically, the idea behind this is we should be able to send this to everybody that we aren't 100% sure on their address and that they're probably under like 60. So like my grandpa has a flip phone. <laughs> I will just have to call him while I have his address. So for a lot of people, we should just be able to send them this link, have them update their address, and it's gonna update it in our system. Uh, so let's jump, jump into that. So it's just this button right here. And this button, I've just copied it from many extensions. So I copied this formula down here, right here, from many extensions. So I'll just be able to send this to anybody. So like if I was doing this, this would be for myself. And I would get texted this link probably just directly from me. But I could update my name, and we maybe don't want people to update their name. Update any notes, which again, we probably don't want people to update their notes. But basically just update their address, line one, two, city, state, and zip code. That way we send their invites to the right place and all that. Um, is there is is there a different link for each person or like could I click my and link and type in like someone else's name or does that? So it's somewhat of like a magic link. Like if you each person get or each record in here gets their own link. So, so it's like each link is like unique for the person. Exactly. Okay. So the way this works is it has and record id so record id is a formula in each every each like row that you would think of in excel 
or each row in Airtable is called a record. And each record has a unique ID. And so by giving somebody this link, it like goes into our Airtable base when they load this up. That's why it has a somewhat slow load time because it kind of like pulls Airtable right there when it loads and fetches this data off their record based on this record ID being a record ID in our system and which we don't have to set up, but then they can update any of any of their information that we choose. But yeah, each person would get their own link. And we there could be the option if we wanted to use a mini extensions portal to give them their itineraries. If we just said user your login and you'll be able to see a view of all of your itinerary. That would be if we don't want to give people access to the entire I think that was a good I think that was a good video. So throw a comment down in the comment section if you see any improvements that you think we should make. And hit the hit the like button if you got value from it. So I hope you enjoyed having Anne on the channel. And if you want to see Anne's first time on the channel, do you remember what the video was? The Echo Show. Echo Show. So if you <laughs> want to see Anne's first time on the channel, we'll put the video right here in the end screen. And you can go watch the Echo Show video. We'll see you there. <laughs> Bye. Oh, Nacho's in that video too, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He was really small. He's under right. the bed. Nacho's <laughs> sleeping under the bed right now. It's nighttime outside. So we'll Bye. see you in the next one. Bye-bye.